and I'm here to do a quick review on some affordable brushes that you can buy at your local Ulta and they are the Real Techniques brushes. I'm pretty sure everyone is probably familiar with the Pixie Woo sisters that make videos here on YouTube and Samantha Chapman is the founder and she's basically developed the entire line of the Real Techniques brushes. Um, I'm just going to show you guys the ones that I do have that's in my collection. I don't have the entire line but I do have the powder brush, the blush brush and then I believe the, the face essential kit. So first and foremost, I'm going to talk about the powder brush. The powder brush is enormous. Like, it's probably the ultimate powder brush. All of them are made with synthetic bristles, so they're cruelty-free and whatnot. And they're supposed to provide you with, like, HD results. And they are amazingly soft. Um, my, I'm sorry my brushes are a little bit dirty because I've been using them, so I didn't really have time to clean them for this review. But the only thing with these ones are... They have really big bases, so if you do put them in a, let's say, a brush holder, um, they may take up a lot of room because um, the base is made so that it would stand on your counter, and which it does. Um, it's very stable if you do that, and if you don't have a lot of counter space and you just want to set it to the side once you finish using them. So anyways, the powder brush is enormous, and it's awesome for just setting... Um, I usually just do this to set my powder. I don't I don't swirl around. I basically just blot it all over my face since it's so big. If you have if you're familiar with the e.l.f. Studio um, Kabuki brush, it's somewhat the same size as that one. And it's about the same density. So I have this one. I do love this one as well, but I love this one in particular because it's not so packed but it has a lot of bristles but it's not so packed that it gives you like 2k kill look when you're powdering your face so it just kind of gives it like an, a nice HD like airbrushed finish when you're finished using this brush the next one the next brush I'm going to talk about is the blush brush and I love this blush brush because of its shape so it has a dome shape basically so it's supposed once you dip into your brush I mean to your blush you just do this and then it just basically delivers on your face and this is so so soft um, in comparing these two I believe this one is a lot softer but it's it feels so nice on your cheek when you put it on and compared to like traditional blush brushes usually like I have this one from Sigma and it's angled this one's just kind of unique and I love that it's pink to signify that it's blush so it's just um, it's about this one was about I believe $8.99 at Ulta and then the blush brush was $9.99 I believe so very very affordable affordable brushes the next one is the face I believe the complete essential face kit and this one comes with a little case that you can set up on your counter but I don't have it handy right now that you can set up on your counter and then it will just stand on its own and then it comes with this buffer brush so it's called the buffing brush right here I'm not sure if it'll focus and then it has the label right there and this one is awesome if you're want full coverage on your liquid foundation or if you want full coverage on your powder foundation so and this one again is like is super duper soft and it's perfect for buffing it's a perfect buffing brush and I like that the size is not so big comparing to the elf powder brush it's a little bit smaller so this one you get a lot more you can get to spaces a lot better because it's smaller and the tip the head is a little bit more rounded and then the next one is the contour brush and this is kind of like a mini version of the blush brush the blush brush is dome shaped so this one's a lot smaller in comparing the sizes for this one I basically use this one for highlight since when you do contour it just kind of delivers like a really really strong amount of contour contour on me maybe I'm just like not very light-handed when it comes to dipping into my contour colors on my face so I basically use this as a highlight brush and it's very very soft again and the last one is the, the pointed foundation brush which I'm not really a big fan of this one because it's really really small compared to a traditional foundation brush um, it's tiny and the only thing is the way that it's tapered 
if you can see the bristles on those um they kind of get pokey like the little bristles on these corners right here they kind of get pokey so that's my only grab i mean for the most part it's um soft but i don't i don't really use this brush whatsoever because it kind of just pokes my face but for the value of all these brushes i believe this set was $15.99 at ulta so and then comparing to sigma i know sigma are the cheaper brushes but one brush alone from Sigma is about, this one was about $14. So if you get this three for the same price as this, it's awesome. So that's pretty much, that pretty much concludes my little review on the Real Techniques brushes. If you get a chance to check them out, be sure to check out your local Ulta. And also sometimes if you want to like save even more, sometimes they'll have a sale on buy one get one half off and most of their tools and whatnot, the, the tool section at Ulta where they have eco tools and Japanese and whatnot. So keep an eye out. And thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.